Hey friends, okay, full garden tour time. I got a lot of things planted today. I'll kind of show you where we're at and we'll check in on those peppers I planted yesterday. And yes, I'm wearing a hat to try and keep myself slightly less crispy. <laughs> Okay, same order as last time. We're gonna start in the backyard on the west side. I planted this planter today. This is the Red Robin tomato. I've got three of them. They're supposed to be like miniature. Like the plant size is only supposed to be 12 to 16 inches with full size tomatoes. So I'm really interested to see how that goes. So um, I've got this one planted. I don't have anything planted in that one quite yet. This, I have got these things on because the dog kept digging up right here, so I'm trying to dissuade her. But this is that bottom bed where I planted all the peppers. So these are all peppers and lettuce intermingled. These are all banana peppers. This area over here has got some bachelor button seeds in it. In the middle, we have the green onions. These are the new ones, the seeds we planted this year. And these are mature ones that I can use now and that are going to go to seed. And you can see... It's starting to make seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and get bags over those. That one's going too. And I'll have my green onion seed for next year. Right beyond it, same thing, peppers and lettuce. These are the natapeno peppers. And then on the end here, I added some Benary wine zinnias. And then I also planted two center cut squash seeds there today so this bottom bed is totally planted get out of my garden bed right now oh i also have those nasturtium seeds in the front here and i don't see any coming up quite yet but they'll come up pretty soon up on top we can start over here get out of my garden up here i've got binary orange and then i also have a bunch of sunflower seeds planted back here and then those are calendula, the volunteer that are coming back up. And that's a volunteer sunflower. Right in here in this front, these are all garlic. And there's some random garlic in the back too. And then I have the tomatoes. And I don't have all the varieties on here, but these are all heirloom or paste tomatoes. They're going to climb this cattle panel, which I can put a little bit higher in the air, and I probably will. But I have got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I've got 10 of them down the back of here. And then in the middle where you can see all the soil looks wet, I moistened that all down and I planted these tender sweet carrots. So my hope is as I pull this garlic up, I'm gonna have carrots back there I can harvest. The tomatoes will go up. And then also right back up against the wood of there, I planted climbing beans and I did 1500 year caveman beans. And hang on, my daughter needs me. Okay, back here in the corner with the chickens. I have a couple more things to plant out that were winter so they're kind of hanging out here. These are those peas that I tried to get to grow up this. They might still, I suppose. I don't think they get enough sun back here, so that's kind of good information to remember. I did plant some of those climbing nasturtiums here too, so hopefully those take off. This looks like lemon balm in here. Over in this pot, these are coneflower echinacea. Those are all coming up, and then I put a couple more of those zinnias, those benaries. I think wine are in there. This green stalk has all the peas coming up. Quite a few of them are coming up. And then I added some beans onto the top here, the Sunset Runner beans. What? The top of this one, I have chamomile. And then I have all of these beets. And not a lot came in, so I did re-sow more beet seeds in here. Down on the bottom, these are the pin cushion mixed flowers I've got down here. And then I've got a bunch of uh, volunteer. Ooh. <laughs> And this hyssop coming up. This back area by the chicken coop, I am very undecided with. I thought I wanted to leave it kind of closed off and maybe grow a couple of things in here with the chickens free range. I'm not certain how I'm going to do that. I might just leave it like this for this season. So I've got this gate here that I can close to keep the dogs out if I want. A lot of the time it just stays open. I've got these pots lined up in front. I've got uh, yarrow here. 
that's starting to bud. That's cool. These are Canterbury Bells that I started from seed this year, and this is Echinacea and some Anna's Hyssop. Back behind it in this corner is where I have that nasturtium that's going to climb up here along with the center cut squash. And then I've got one more center cut squash here to match the two over in that bed. So they should overtake the front of this pergola here along with those climbing nasturtium. Um, once I get in here, there's just these couple herbs I've been planting here and there. Lemon balm, oregano, some more lemon balm. This is a volunteer tomato. Hey, baby, you think you're going to live here? Some calendula that just kind of sprouted. In the back, I've got that mustard and all the kales, which are doing fantastic. These are all these rug, ragged ones right here are red Russian. And this one here is premier kale. And look how big, like this is as big as my hand. <laughs> this is fantastic. I really like this variety so far. Yes, I hear you. Got some yarrow over there. And then in this back corner here and in there, and then again, over in this corner, I put the tromboncino squash so it climbs the back of this. So my hope is that those two squashes are going to take over the entire chicken coop pergola area here. And that will be awesome. In this back thing right here, I have planted purple beans, the Blue Hildai variety. And I will be coming in and cleaning some of this up again since it's kind of growing back. Down here at the base of this ladder, I put some sunset runner beans and some black oil sunflowers to kind of grow up here. And I had mint in there, but it's not looking great. But look at this volunteer baby. Hi. Compost pile. Yarrow. These are not really planted. None of this is really planted too much. I'm going to have to kind of decide what it is that I want to do with this back area right now. I can't decide if it's going to be garden or chicken area or what. I'll have to think about it. Okay, on this side of the garden bed, again, this is about 2 foot by 16 foot. And this is all that leaf lettuce we planted. Look how nice and lush that is. We are harvesting off of this. And pretty much I just come in and I shave the top of it and it grows back up. I've got some more over here. This is that little thing I left in there that I wasn't sure if it was carrots or dara. And I still don't know. I guess we'll let it keep going and see what happens. Um, and then I've got these tomatoes here. These are the heirlooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And they are almost tall enough. We'll all start to attach them to this and cut their bottom leaves off. I'm not trying to do that quite yet because I'm trying to wait until they're kind of acclimated a little bit more before I start. But that will help them. First, if you cut these bottom leaves off, it will help keep splash back from the ground so they won't get it diseased, and it will help them concentrate on getting tall and making fruit. So we'll get there. This area right here is not planted yet. Nothing here. The only thing I have is I have sunset runner beans in the back corner. And I don't know if the camera picks this up, but I've got some chicken wire kind of set up in the corner. And I'm hoping those sunset runner beans kind of go up that back corner. There is Headless Mary. I had a Mary statue, and she fell, and now she's headless. And I can't throw her away. But even if I put her head back on, she's still going to look funny. It's a problem. Okay. Once we get over here to this corner, I got a whole bunch of junk here. But this Anna's Hyssop is getting huge. That's going to be so good this year. The Calendula. These are Cosmos. Look like a little baby Cosmo flower. These are all Cosmos in here. These are growing. I don't know what they are. Those cosmos back there are growing. So this area is going to be good. I just need to finish planting the inside of it here. So as far as the backyard, I concentrated on this half today. I wanted to get, so this is totally planted. That's all totally planted. That's almost planted. 50%, 25%. I'm trying to make my way around and fill in any holes. So that's where the backyard stands right now. Moving on to the driveway, this bed is one of my favorite beds right now, which is so funny because I almost didn't even keep it. I've got alpine strawberries coming in. At some point, I'll fill the rest of these holes up, but it's very low on the list of priorities. I'm going to get everything planted that I already have got going. These are the celery, and they look really good. They're forming lots, lots of new leaves down at the bottom. Very, very good. All of the strawberries that I got tucked in here are doing really, really well. 
This guy looks huge. That's a cauliflower. Cabbage. All the cabbage and cauliflower seem to be doing well. The Brussels sprouts are kind of small. They're the ones that are in the very back. I'm wondering if they're not getting as much sun. I'm not really sure. I am going to plant some beans along that back, but I'm not there. Like, look at the size of this guy. He's great. Over there, you're going to notice it's pretty empty. That is because all of that broccoli, uh, broccoli rod that I had growing, went to seed. It all bolted, and I fed it to the chickens. I just planted these ice cream sunflowers in here. I think that'll look cool if I get some sunflowers here in the corner. And this strange guy. This has got to be a garlic or an onion. I still haven't looked it up. And then these are the ranunculus flowers that I grew from Quorums this year. <gasps> Look, I got a bud. Oh, that is exciting. Oh, I got another one. Oh, I can't wait till these open up. I thought they would get taller. Hmm, I don't know much about these. So I got some more over on the other side too here. Down here, all these calendula are going to fill in and look beautiful. They're doing a good job. These herbs in the bucket, not so good. Hey, Mr. Earwig. That's Russian tarragon and cilantro. Down in here, can you tell us this is where I work? This is my staging area. Look, there's my things I haven't planted yet. <laughs> I've got some French rosemary in here. This is that artichoke, green globe artichoke. Here are the other ranunculus. We've got a sunflower right there and right here. Those are both volunteer. That is some Cosmos I put. And then back over here in the corner, hang on, let's get over here. This is a Dr. Witchy tomato. That's the one we planted long ways, remember? Long and then curved it up. It's gonna go right up at this corner and be awesome. I'm really excited about it. These are the trees I gotta plant still. I've got more zinnias. I've got some dahlias and some other things. And then the basil tray got hit with the cold. I probably could have brought that in, but I did not. Okay, down here, I have got the driveway 90% planted. These are the Mikado poppies. I didn't think they were gonna make it because when they were small, something was digging in there, but they ended up turning out okay. These peas look fantastic. It's funny to me, every year I put peas in a slightly different spot and they always surprise me by where they tend to flourish this year it's this spot some years they don't grow here i don't know i've got one kohlrabi here two kohlrabi three kohlrabi and this little baby one that's probably not going to make it on this side and then i also have got uh, this tomato plant back here one tomato on this side and i have one on this side so two cherry tomatoes on this side. The peas are really big. Uh, there's no flowers yet. We're probably getting close. Ava is anxiously awaiting pea eating time. Up here I had my first geranium flower. This is that ivy geranium. Put some weeds in here. I just put a couple peas up in here. We'll see how they do. Right here is the spinach bed. Again, I harvested all this spinach, so it is working on a next flourish. I'll probably get one more cutting off of this at least before it gets too warm. It was 80 today, so a lot of things are really not happy with that. Back in the back are all of the um, radishes. And look, this guy's going to go to seed on me. Brat. Oh, So I'll have to keep a close eye on these. I might... I might just get a bunch of little ones. They might end up just maybe pickling a jar of them. We'll see. We will see. Down in here are all the chicks and hens. This is one of the last things I do is come move these babies and give them a new home. But right now, everything is being concentrated on planting the whole garden out first. Same as the other basket. I got a tornado, dry uh, ivy geranium, and some peas up here. And then peas right here. And then I've got just two kohlrabi here that made it, which is okay. We don't eat a whole lot of kohlrabi. We actually use it just fresh to make coleslaw. But in the back, I've got one, let's see. There's one tomato, two tomato, 
and three tomatoes. I got three cherry tomatoes. So in the battle with the pill bugs, I ended up with five cherry tomatoes. Brats. I did plant some stuff up here. In this one, I've got um, some sunflowers up here, and I have some cosmos in this corner. We planted those together, I think, the other day. It's the seashell cosmo mix right here, and I think it's one of the darker burgundy sunflowers. I also have the white sunflowers in the corners of these beds, but they're not up yet either. Aren't these dianthus pretty? Oh, so pretty. And look at my poor, poor squash tostas. This is right next to the driveway. Buddies, you almost didn't have a chance. Coming around the front yard and my bushes are finally <gasps> flowering. This one does so much better than the other one. I think they like shade better. I could be wrong. That's just a guess. Up here in my buckets, these are <laughs> doing beautiful. These are my hydrangeas. I've got one in here and one in the other one. Some scarlet kale. And we planted some other stuff in here and I can't remember what it is, but it is not up yet. And then we did the same thing over on this side. This one's a little bit slower going. The scarlet kale, isn't this pretty? I love the look of scarlet kale. The variation color is just so, so pretty. Back in here, <laughs> look at these guys. Isn't that pretty? Those are all coming in across the front. I have not planted back there yet, but the clematis is right here and she is climbing. I will come in and kind of train one of them down to cover that. And then I'm gonna train them to, to make go up this here. We'll see, I'll get to that. Moving this way here, I have got this kale right here. It's a Russian red kale. And I've got a little bit of that salvia taking root here. So that's probably gonna grow nice for me. Here's my peony that did not die this year. And here is the honeysuckle. It's so pretty, I love it even though it's an aphid magnet. That hose bath I gave it did knock down a lot. I'm getting a lot of bloom, which is really, really good. Isn't it beautiful? Tomorrow she'll get another hose down bath. You so pretty. How come you so pretty? Ugh. And then on this side down here, here's the other peony. It's a little bit shorter. The salvia and a chamomile. Heading down the side of the house here. Let's start over here. Back in here is that new little bed I kind of created. Got some Cosmos going. Got that Penstemon that I saved back there. Snapdragons. That almost looks like it's a, some kind of Echinacea. We'll see. Here's this one. I love the foliage on this one. It's doing really well. Back behind the bird bath here. Let me walk around to get a better look. I've got peas growing back here. They are really slow going, which I'm actually a little surprised by because they get a little bit more sun back here. <laughs> That's a volunteer tomato. I also did plant cucumber seeds back here and I don't see a single one up. I might come in and replant those. They might've been eaten by something. <laughs> These are all the different varieties of lilies that I have. I've got some that I don't know. I've got some Stella de Auras. And these are calendula. See, it got 80 degrees today, and a lot of these guys are feeling the heat. This is yarrow. You see that? It's starting to go. Here's the bush that matches the other one. It's so much smaller. I feel so bad for it, but it is what it is, friend. Down here. I planted some uh, oriental lantern snapdragons. I've got chicks and hens in the sedum here. And then this is a coneflower that did not flower last year. I don't know where it came from. It self-seeded itself last year, so I have no idea what color it is. These sedums, I'm trying to train them all to kind of come out here. You can see they're kind of making their way, these chicks and hens. This is a coreopsis. And there is some more coreopsis back here. I'm not sure if it's gonna take off or not. These are all volunteer calendula. I'll let them live there. 
And then I have got some more snapdragons over here. These are the rose snapdragons. I could sit here and look at all the little things in this garden all day long. There is a scarlet kale back here. Whether or not it takes off, we'll find out. I'm not sure. All this is that sweet woodruff. It gets kind of crazy. Up on top, hang on. Ooh, look at those irises. Aren't those pretty? The irises are all blooming. Next to them is the phlox. And there's Boucher's rose bush. And that's got buds on it. Oh, we're so close to having roses. And then in front of it, I've got that oregano, sage, and lavender. This is the savory. And the chive that's blossoming. Oh, you so pretty. I love that there's color in the garden again. Oh, so exciting. These are all daisies right here. And I do have some black-eyed Susans back in here, too, that are going to come in. And then we planted some Cosmos there. But they're not going to be up yet. Here's the maple tree. Still living in the middle of my bushes that I have yet to take care of. We'll get there, right, friends? Down underneath here, I've got lots more different sedums and this wild geranium. And this wild geranium is going to put on the prettiest purple flowers. Purple and pink, it's going to be beautiful. Those are almost ready to pop out. I bet you the next week video I do, they're going to be out. They're so close. There's some more of that. The wild lupine up here. This is Dianthus. I've got a little bit of chive back there. <gasps> the thyme is flowering. Look at that. <laughs> little baby chive flowers. You're, I'm lying. It's not chive. It's thyme. Baby thyme flowers. <laughs> They're adorable. Up here I've got columbine, which is not going to be big enough to flower this year. And I've got some cosmos. And this is where I put that dill and cosmos along with this rose rhapsody salvia. Got some bee balm or some lemon balm coming up over there. And then up in here, this is all butterfly weed I'm trying to grow from seed. So we'll see if she flowers this year or not. I got some more snapdragons down here. Cherry twist. These right here are the fever few. Get me a kind of close up view. This is that blue daisy I planted. This is supposed to be a perennial. And then back here are those two sunspot. Um, sunflowers. Those are the ones that get short and stubby. Oh, they're so cute. There's a hidden fairy house. Some oregano. Another scarlet kale and a cabbage. I love just having a random cabbage or kale tucked into the landscape. It's so dang cute. Up here, I've got these buckets that got some chive and some dianthus in them. This middle's not planted yet. There's me some flowers in there pretty soon. More of the wild geranium here. And a lot of volunteers down here. Snapdragons. We've got some wild violets. Some calendula. And I'm just going to let them kind of grow and I might fill some things in. Some more snaps right here. These ones are the night and day snaps. I got a lot of snaps this year. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I do not have that ladder planted. This part of the yard's not too planted yet. There is a cabbage here. There's a strawberry up in there. But for the most part, none of that back there is planted. I do have Tithonia right there. That's that big sunflower that I'm hoping gets huge. And then right in front of it is this Clematis that is the white Polish. And then some Flax, some Dara. I've got Lavender here, and then I put some seeds in there too, of which I cannot remember what kind. No. And then I have this flower I got from Kay that I can't remember what it's called either, but I love the foliage on it, how it's just like this icy color. It's super pretty. And down here, a whole bunch of volunteer sunflowers in the cracks of the sidewalk, because why the heck not, right? Looking down the fence line, the biggest thing growing is this echinacea. It's getting really tall, as you can see. So I'll be expecting to see some spikes coming out with flower heads pretty soon. And like I said, very in the very beginning, all this echinacea started from two flower heads that I put in the middle, and then every year I deadhead them and drop them, and it just fills in. So I've got echinacea. Here's the Brussels spread I put in the middle. Echinacea, Brussels sprout. Looks like something's already eaten this one. 
I got sunflowers coming up. More echinacea, another brussel. This is probably the best looking one, honestly. More echinacea, more echinacea, all the way down. And then for years, all I've been doing is when I get to the end of the echinacea, that's when I make sure to put lots of flowers in here so it looks like a wall of flowers. So I've got lots of, um, that is not a volunteer, but over here, I got all these zinnias coming up. I'll add more as the season goes on here. All these zinnias, sunflowers coming up, nice and thick and heavy. Another brussel, and then this beautiful thing. I don't know what it is. It's not lamb's ear, but it's got that kind of feel to it on the leaf, and all the beneficial bugs love it. Okay, last stop, the big garden. Look how dirty I am. Oh, it's been a day. The big garden is a little bit of a mess still. Pretty much I'm planting the edges. So this edge over here has got things like kale, and it's got a couple cabbages um, that are doing okay over here. I've got some volunteer sunflowers, and looks like I've got that mustard going. This far edge has those volunteer sunflowers, but it's got all of my onions, which are doing really well. I'm really happy with those. All the way down, they look really good. And then this row where I planted cabbages, where some of them look fantastic like this, and some of them are non-existent. So random cabbages down the row with the onions behind them. That's this back row. Up in the front here, I did clean this out the other day, and this is where I put those peppers. So you can see it starts with the fish peppers here, and those peppers go down this way. Ornamental onion, more peppers, more peppers, more peppers, more peppers. Up in front, these are all calendula that I've volunteered that I'm just gonna let grow. So in this front row, I'll have a row of flowers. I'll thin them out and kind of add them to the bare spots. Row of flowers, all the peppers here with the ornamental onions and peppers. And they all look really good. It was a little cold last night. Nobody seems to care. They all look really happy to be in their homes. And then on this end, I have got the three rows of garlic. And then we're back around to this side. So the outside edges are planted. I need to go in and clean the middle out of any big, uh, big weeds and get that planted with summer squashes and beans and other things I'm gonna put in here. And then I'll get a light covering of bark mulch in here to cover the whole thing. So that's probably, probably another week out. It's on the agenda, but I'm not quite there yet. So I am pretty excited that I got as much planted as I did today. I've got a bed in the backyard, totally done. The driveway is 90% done. It's just a little bit, every time I got a pocket of time, I'm like, okay, what seeds can I get out today? Um, as far as plants, all of my plant starts, except those couple you saw in the driveway, which are mostly flowers, are in the ground. Everything else now is just a case of direct seeding. The other thing that we did today is I spent, that's why I'm filthy. We spent um, some time this evening over at my mom and dad's, finished planting there as we planted pumpkins, winter squash, beans. What else did we put over there? I put another row of beets out there, chioga beets, watermelon, muskmelon, beans, I said beans, yes, flowers. So a lot got done over there. So today was very, very productive. Everything is getting very nice and green. Um, in another couple weeks, it'll probably be beautiful and filled in. I know it always stresses me out in the beginning when there's bare spots everywhere and you can see the dirt and I always overplant. You have to remember that they need the space, let them grow. So I try not to get too crazy in the beginning about filling holes, but another two weeks or so maybe. Um, I think I'll probably do these every week now. I think things will be growing fast enough that I can justify a full garden tour every week. Don't hold me to it. It's a lot of work, <laughs> but I will try. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the look at the late May garden. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.